Yo, what up? It's Spiritual Demon here. Now, before I get into spiritual gods, you know, because there's a lot of y'all that wanted to make, wanted me to make a video on spiritual gods, but let me teach y'all how to stop <laughs> giving a fuck. Like, after after I tell you all this, you're just gonna be like to everything. <laughs> like, like, word, bro. Like, alright. So, how to stop giving a fuck is like, say somebody walk up to you, and be like, hey, yo, my nigga. You dumb, ugly nigga, you, you chop, nigga, you don't get no girls, blah, blah, blah. Or if a girl walk up to you, be like, oh, you, you ugly, your hair nappy, blah, 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 whatever type of shit, negative shit they be saying. Nigga, they insulting themselves, because remember, we all are one, nigga, like, the fuck, nigga, if we all are one, nigga, why are you talking shit to me? If you talk shit to me, nigga, you talking shit back, back to yourself. Go. Because we are the face of God, right? Nigga, I got the face of God, right? Now listen, since all of us are one, the fuck you gonna go call that nigga a pussy, nigga? Then you a pussy, nigga. You walk up to a girl be like, oh, she, if some girl just walk up to you and just be like, oh, you, you a hoe ass bitch, she a hoe ass bitch. Straight up like that, nigga. And I say... Now, say you just say you get in a relationship, right? You get in a relationship, and nigga, y'all just get in a relationship. Always think for the worst, nigga. Because when you think for the worst, nigga, when it happens, you just be like, <laughs> okay, nigga, like, yo, fuck. Like, I mean, even to the girl, bro. I mean, even for a girl, bro. When you get in a relationship with a nigga, because we be doing the fucking most. When you get in a relationship with a nigga, always think for the fucking worst. And when it happens, like, nigga, you a bum-ass nigga, bro. But don't say that. Always love your enemies, nigga. Not even your enemies, bro. Love yourself, bro. Because when you say you love yourself, lo when you say I still love you, you loving yourself, bro. When you say I forgive you, you forgiving yourself, bro. Stop giving a fuck, bro. Word, bro. But, like, niggas looking dumb trap. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go fix it up. All right. Now I'm about to talk about spiritual guides. Now you have to understand, you cannot see these niggas with your two naked eyes, bro. You cannot see these niggas with these, right? So you have to see these niggas with your third eye. Now, mind you, when, when you open your third eye, you can basically, like, Right now, you can see, like, if you're opening it right now, you can see the outline of these niggas. And I'm not talking about spiritual guardians, nigga. I'm talking about your guys, nigga. Like, your spiritual guardian and your, like, your spiritual animal. Like, I don't know what the fuck they call that, nigga. But spiritual guys, there's two of them, right? So, so... You cannot see these niggas with the two naked eyes. You have to see these niggas with the third eye. Now, these spiritual guys are supposed to help you, the incarnated being, the human being on the third plane, third, the third, the three D plane. They're here to help you from the fifth or fourth D. I think. I think it's like fifth. Nah, it's the fourth D. Fourth D. Yeah, for from the fourth dimension. All right. So they here to help you. So when you like, when you on your shit, nigga, and you just be like, yo, spiritual guys, I need some help. Should I stay on this path or should I make some adjustments and all that? Nigga, they'll answer you, nigga, if you on your shit, nigga. But if you doing fuckery, nigga, <laughs> they not about to answer you, nigga. <laughs> like, even though, even though, like, you feel like you, you still can't see the, like, my nigga, get on your shit, bro. It's about to hit November, bro. And you have to stock up on your food, nigga. Don't worry about, like, even though you should not be worrying about the food you should be eating, you should be, get, you should be really getting to the point that you don't have to eat, nigga. That's what I'm about to do right today. I'm going to lay down on the floor. I'm going to, I'm going to meditate today. I'm going to do, I'm going to do dumb work, bro, bro. First of all, I'm going to lay on the ground for like an hour, and then I'm going to work out, chill for a little after the workout, then meditate, then mirror gaze, nigga. <laughs> Come on now, nigga. Like, and then 
I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to not eat today, cause I want to get to that point where I don't gotta eat, nigga. Like, come on now, bro. Now, hold on. Hmm. Now, you have to understand your spiritual guides will not help you. Will not help. All right, they will help you to get on your shit. To pass this shit, but they not gonna tell Mother Nature, ayo, chill, cause you know he's been trying, blah blah blah. No, nigga, stop depending on other people, bro. Stop depending on other entities, bro. Get on your shit, bro, cause you will write down your manifestations today and just leave it there and not do no work. If you do not do no work or no process of it, nigga, you will not get it, nigga. The shit not gonna pop up in front of your face, bro. So, when this shit happens, nigga, and the, and the sun shuts down, nigga, and all the EMP drops, nigga, and your TV, computer, and your phone shut off, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> like, I know, I know, the social media niggas, like, the models and everything, them niggas going to be fucking going crazy. Because, first of all, there's no light. Get your candles, nigga. And there's no social media. Nigga, there's no social media, nigga. So what are they gonna do? They can't live without social media, nigga. Cause they post almost every day. They put on makeup. The fuck you put on makeup for, my nigga? I understand. Back then, we women used to wear makeup, but you should not be putting makeup on your face about every day, bro. Like you look beautiful, even though some niggas be like, "Oh nah, she chopped, blah blah blah." No, they talk about how they chopped, they ugly. Like. Don't keep, just stop putting on makeup, bro. You don't have to, bro. And especially this, the makeups that y'all be wearing is coming from babies, bro. The fuck you doing? Stop doing that shit. Now, I'm just gonna say, since, since like on Instagram, y'all picked guides and shit, I'm going to, I'm going to still put melanated women in this bitch. But only for a little, only for a little. Um,. You have to understand, melanated women are the reason why us niggas is here. That's number one. Nigga, our dick and balls, nigga, our, uh, fuck it, nigga, our dick and balls, nigga, is like the inside out of a fucking woman, bro. No, you look at it, bro. When you look at a women body parts, nigga, down there, nigga, literally looks like our shit, but in the inside, nigga. So they created us, our shit is the inside out, nigga, the fuck? Like, nigga, get on your shit, bro. You have to understand we have to protect our women. You cannot you cannot call a bitch stupid because she doesn't know what she is, right? Like, she doesn't know what she is. Nigga, educate her, nigga. Educate your melanated woman, bro. When you educate her and she understands what she is, she will not be acting the way she's still acting right now. Educate your woman, bro. That's why the next time I get my girl, nigga, I'm educate. I don't even got to educate her, bro. She already, she should already know, like, what type of shit I'm on. You have to figure it out for yourself what the fuck you are. But I'm gonna still educate her, like, a little bit on the shit. Now, body different. No, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Um, so, you gotta understand, melanated women are the reason why niggas here, yeah. Yeah, I already said that. You see, I'm, re I'm repeating shit. I need to stop doing that. Um, uh... <laughs> Melanated women was the ones that made wigs, bro. But y'all wearing, but the difference from back then to now, the wigs that y'all wearing <laughs> is from another nigga. So you don't know the way how they took the wig off that nigga and off that girl. I mean, and you don't know if they took that shit off them. And they had, like, they had bad intentions. Now you put that shit on your head, nigga. Now you have bad intentions. Like, <laughs> like, chill off of that, bro. Now, the only, the last thing I'm gonna say is, ain't not, ain't, ain't not a more beautiful than a mel melanated woman, bro. I mean, melanated female. That just sounded dumb weird. Melanated, ain't nothing beautiful than a melanated woman. Ain't nothing more beautiful than them, bro. Like, you be dumb if you don't want to date a melanated woman, bro. Or even fuck with them, bro. Like, they got the most best shit out here. Best style. 
And the reason why they always jump to conclusions is because their intuition, nigga. They're more, they're more spiritual than us, nigga. You, you don't know that, but they, they're more spiritual than us, nigga. They might not look like it or talk like it or act like it, but if they educate themselves, oh, nigga, you fucked. <laughs> Next month, nigga, you will call her dumb, nigga, and she will tell you some shit that you don't even know. But that's all I wanted to talk about, nigga. Alright, damn, nigga, still remember, prepare yourself, prepare your mind and body, nigga, for this, for this shift. Alright, spiritual demon out.